Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Arlo Maverick, I'm a man of many hats who just happens to rap, and today we're talking about the different types of grants that you could apply for as an artist. As a grant writer, a lot of times artists will approach me and say, hey Arlo, I want to get a grant, but a lot of times they don't know what type of funding is available to them. So they'll say, I want to get a grant, but I don't know what I want to get it for, so on and so forth. So today, I want to talk about the different types of grants that you could apply for as an artist that will help you in your career. So number one, recording. If you want to record an album, there are grants that are available for that. This will cover expenses such as the recording. So if you have to go into a studio, it'll cover things such as hiring musicians, paying for your producer, paying for the mixing of the project, anything that you need to actually create the project. Number two, marketing. If you have created an album and now you need to get it out to your fans, they have grants that allow you to actually cover your marketing expenses. So that means covering uh, the funding for maybe getting a publicist, maybe getting a radio tracker, maybe to get your website revamped, maybe buying uh, Facebook ads and, and other social media ads, so on and so forth. Um, anything that you could essentially justify to a jury that you will need as a marketing expense to help promote your project. Number three, touring. Once you have created a project and you have the funds to market it, you also want to be able to go into different markets to share that music with your fans. They have grants for you to be able to do that. Those grants will cover everything from your flights to your uh, hotels, to your per diems, to paying musicians that you may have to bring on the road, all that. Number four, showcasing. If you're an artist who's hoping to showcase in different markets so that you could actually start building a fan base and creating relationships in those markets, they've got grants for that. That'll cover your flights, cover your hotels, per diems, anything that's related to that showcase, even if you have to rent equipment to actually make sure your show goes well. Lastly, subsistence. A lot of times artists will come to me and say, hey Arlo, I saw subsistence on a grant and I don't know if I should apply for it or not. Yes, you should. If you are working on a project that is going to require you to take a significant amount of time away from work in order for you to focus on this project, then apply for subsistence. Subsistence essentially will cover your basic living expenses. So we're talking about rent, groceries, maybe your car payment, whatever the case may be. These are the um, expenses that you would essentially put on your subsistence. So as long as it's reasonable, as long as you could actually justify why you need to actually take time away from work in order to focus on this stuff, then you could apply for subsistence. In closing, I want to thank you for checking out this vlog. If you found yourself to be more informed by the end of it, then please make sure to click that like button as well too. Don't forget to follow me on the channel, which is youtube.com slash Arlo Maverick as well too. Don't forget to meet me down in the comments. If you have something that you want to contribute to this conversation, then please do. Is there something that I missed? Is there something that you think should have actually been added to this conversation? Then please make sure to add it in the comments section below. Or maybe you have a suggestion about a vlog that I should actually be covering hit me up let me know as well too don't forget to check me out on my social media platforms which is arlo maverick at arlo maverick i should say on everything and i guess until the next episode ladies and gentlemen peace